I'd like to call to order this secret conclave of America's media empires. We are here to come up with the next phony baloney crisis to put Americans back where they belong in dark rooms glued to their televisions too terrified to skip the commercials. Well, I think... NBC, you are here to listen and not speak. I think we should go with a good old-fashioned public health scare. Uh, yeah. yeah. A new disease. No one's immune. It's like the summer of the shark, except instead of a shark, it's an epidemic. And instead of summer, it's all the time. That oh. is smoke. Now, I hate to be the guy who derails what everybody else loves. He loves being that guy. But, Janice, we do have standards. This can't be a made-up disease. The only moral thing to do is release a deadly virus into the general public. We do have something we've been holding on to, but it hasn't been tested. Get over here, NBC. Uh, well, well, we certainly believe in testing, but I... Oh, oh. Wow. Wow. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. So, we've got our deadly disease. No, we just have to blame it on something that's in every household. Something that people are a little bit afraid of already. House cat flu is coming, people. The Center for Disease Disinformation predicts with some degree of probability that the house cat flu might spread in the following hypothetical outbreak pattern. So petter beware, that warm body on your lap just might be ready to destroy your tender fiddles. <coughs> Springfielders are advised to stay tuned for more information if they experience any of the following symptoms. Mild thirst, occasional hunger, tiredness at night.